So let's review match transformation. So the secret of how men can actually build muscle. You may have heard me say this many times before, but the secret is you have to be willing to leave the ego at home. As you can see by Matt's before picture, possibly everything in his, his body and his mind was he wanted to join the gym to get bigger. And as you can see from his after picture, he has achieved that. But what he had to go through first was being consistent with getting lean first. He had to get lean. Now, a leaner body will always build more muscle. I've said it before. It'll sleep better, it'll handle carbs better, it'll perform better, and you'll end up with a body transformation just like what matters here. But you have to be willing to leave the ego at the door because arguably, Matt would have probably felt a little bit smaller in his t-shirts. And you get, especially lads, you get saying, I thought you were going to the gym. Do you not, were well, you not supposed to be getting bigger? You're not building muscle. But then when you see his top off and his body transformation, that's where you see the result. That's where he appears bigger. That's where he looks bigger. Because if you go into the gym and you've got no history of weight training before, no history of eating a high protein diet before, you want to get bigger and you just start eating loads and not really following a consistent plan and don't want to get lean and you want to get bigger straight away, you want to skip the most important stage, when you take your top off, you will be carrying far too much body fat and you may be going to build muscle, but you're not going to build physique. And when it comes down to it, if we're all chasing body transformation goals and body composition goals, how we look in our head and how we want to look is going to determine how lean you can get first as a male, and then you want to build up. Now, this is goal orientated, of course it was. Nobody has to look a certain way. But from Matt's point of view, Matt wanted to get bigger. He wanted to have better shaped shoulders, better shaped chest, a nice set of abs. So I'm explaining to you the process that you have to go through if you want to achieve it. So never skip that first step. You have to make that sacrifice and ignore what everybody else is saying. Get lean first, and then you will achieve your body transformation results. Matt was here consistent, consistent with his weight training, consistent with his tracking calories, consistent over the weekend. Now this isn't a sexy answer, this is a boring answer, but that's what you have to do if you want to achieve results. I want to make this transformation review a very honest review. You have to be willing to sacrifice your ego, lads. You have to be willing to be consistent over the weekend if you want to achieve this type of result. Does it mean that you never have to enjoy things at the weekend again? No, but you have to be willing to commit to go all in. Now, body transformation like this is like rolling a big stone up the hill. It's hard at the start. But now what Matt's experiencing now is that when you get to that top of that hill, it's a hell of a lot easier to hold that stone up the hill than it ever was to roll up in the first place. And that is probably one of the best analogies I've heard. I've heard it many times before. I certainly haven't made it up, but that shows that if you're like Matt, if you're consistent, yes, it's hard at the start, but now he's at the top of the hill and it's easy for him to maintain it and have a lot more flexible life and a lot more enjoyment by going to the gym. So Matt, hats off, incredible body transformation.